Hey you guys, it's Nathan back with another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this, which is making yourself look tiny in a photo. I'm using Photoscape X, which is a free photo editing software for PC and Mac, but you can use a lot of other ways and softwares to make this type of a effect possible. So let me show you how we did that. So first what you'll wanna do is you wanna get your photos taken and you need to think of how your subject is going to be interacting with the item or the miniaturized photo. Uh, you know, you have to think through it or else you're going to end up with photos that won't match up. They won't have the right perspective or angle. So let me show you how I did it. First, I went and I took a picture of a pop can and pretty simple. And you have to think of how are you going to interact with the pop can? Are you going to be standing next to it? Are you going to be on top of it? What are you going to do? In this case, I decided I was going to be sitting on the pop can. But how do you make that look good? What you got to do is you have to think of how would a person actually sit on a pop can? You know, there's a lip on there. So it's kind of recessed. If you're sitting there, you got to be sitting and kind of sitting down. Um, so I tried to do that the best I could. I did my first attempt. I was just kind of sitting there, and the problem is I don't look like I'm actually sitting down uh, or like sitting back. It's more of like leaning on the side of a ledge. So when I went through to edit it, it actually looked pretty bad. Uh, also, my shorts are causing trouble. I'm trying to like remove some of my leg to make it look like there's a ledge. It just didn't work very well. So what I did was I went back and I took some more photos. And this is the photo that I took that I ended up using. What I did was I removed the top of my little desk I had set up there in the sunroom. And I'm sitting here in between like the frame of that uh, desk. So coming up with creative solutions is going to be very helpful to be able to get that angle and perspective that you need to make yourself look tiny. So what I did here was I made sure my shorts were pulled back behind this uh, metal bar, which would then be used as the same little metal or tin lip around the can. And then I have my feet hanging in a way that would work okay. My hands aren't in the way of anything. It's a pretty simple shot uh, because I'm not trying to do something crazy. I'm not trying to hold something or trying to grab the can or anything like that. But the effect still works and looks pretty good. I then did some shadowing and cut everything out, put everything together, and it looks pretty good. Uh, without spending a huge amount of time, I made this look fairly convincing, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So what you'll want to do first is you want to get those photos taken. Get them as close to the same as possible. These are shot all in the same room. Try to keep the same lighting. Then what you'll want to do is you want to take the photo of yourself or whatever you're miniaturizing and you want to cut yourself out of that photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this photo here and we're going to take it over to the cutout tool. So we take it over to the cutout tool and this is where you cut yourself out of the image, uh, cutting out all the background and then you're going to be able to paste that into your final image, in this case with the pop can. And I've made plenty of videos about this, but we're going to go through it together uh, just for the fun of it. So we have the magic eraser tool. We can click in here uh, and we can just start erasing parts of the image. You can select this to show in different ways so you can see what parts are being removed. And the goal is to try to get as much removed without having to go back and brush everything out. But sometimes you just can't because there's colors that are very similar. Uh, but still just try to do the best you can. Uh, so in this case, it's working out all right. Uh, but I'll still have to go through with the brush and remove things. This is a big reason why people decide to go and get things like Photoshop or Affinity. Because they have ways of removing backgrounds faster and easier. Selecting objects so quick and easy. Um, versus in this case where it's a manual process. But it doesn't take that long. And honestly, if you're willing to be patient, the fact that you can do all this stuff for free 
is really, really good. So here I am just, you know, cutting through all of this stuff, trying to get it removed. Um, I want to remove uh, the bar. Yes, I want to remove the bar. I want to remove everything else. One thing that's unfortunate with things like iPhones, um, yes, there's other software that can do it, but the auto selection, like when you are in your uh, can in your photo app and you go and you press and hold on the subject in a photo and you go and it selects or tries to auto select what you want and it cuts out the background. Unfortunately, you can't adjust what it selects. It's just going to try its best in these, in this app and in other apps that are serious about photo editing, you'll be able to be able to make the fine tune adjustments as needed so that you won't have to so that if for whatever reason you're like yeah I don't want the my shorts the bottom of my shorts here in this image you don't have to have that so we're going through here things are looking all right uh, this probably won't be a perfect cut and edit because I already went through and did this all before but basically you just go through and you make sure that you've cut out as much as possible if you do too much like you accidentally erase the rest of my foot here you can go and you can deselect that area so then you're able to do the rest of the project all right so we get this all pretty well selected here uh, or get the sections that we don't want deselected okay we'll call that pretty good the better and more time you take on it, the better it's going to look. But that went pretty quick. Then what you can do, you can like right click and hit copy to clipboard. Or you can actually just save it out. That might be the safer way to do it. So we'll just have that as our cutout. Then what we want to do is we want to go to the editor here. And we have our image of our 7up can. And what we want to do is go over here to the insert tab. This is where we can insert an image. So if I go up here to tiny and I get my cutout that I, we just made, here it is. And I can pull this and drag it to whatever size I want it to be. We can zoom in here, get it to be just at the right spot. And you can make my, I can make myself whatever size looks right. And I can just put myself on top of the can. And you can definitely tell because of how I was sitting, how I cut the image out, it fits much better. And I can go back and I can cut more out if something doesn't quite work. That would be like going back to this cutout tool and be like, oh, I want to cut out a little bit more from here. I want to cut a little bit more from here just because I would think it'll look better. Uh, you could do that. And that's where you could hit like copy to clipboard, go to the editor and hit paste. And when you hit paste, then you can have that other one. I can go and drop this in and maybe that'll look even better because I was able to make that slight edit, that slight adjustment. So it's nice to be able to have that option of just being able to copy and paste real quick from the cutout tab. So... Very good. Now the question is, does this look natural? Well, if we look at my final image, how it looks, this looks better than, whoopsie, sorry. <laughs> my scroll wheel is all silly. So this looks better than how this looks currently. Um, now, what did I do to make the final image look better than this one? Well, simply put, what I did was I added some shading. I went over here to, and you can do like drop shadows. You can do long shadows. You can do different things to try to make it look really good. But honestly, if you go over here to tools, and you go to draw, you know, you can adjust the strength and different things. But if you pick a darker color, have the strength pretty low, and I zoom in. Now what this is going to do is it's going to paint, you know, brush, but it's not going to paint on me. It's going to paint on the base image, the image we started with. So I can just start adding some darker parts of this image to add a bit of a shadow. 
and you can mess around with this and get it to your liking. But you have to remember that right now, the, when you first started, this pop can had zero shadows on it at all, had absolutely no shadows on it. Adding those shadows is going to make it actually look like, oh, yeah, he's sitting on the pop can and Kit's casting a shadow. It makes it look more believable and a more convincing edit, which, of course, makes it but much more fun. So making that change is really nice to be able to do that. And then one other thing I did in here, um, in this image here, was I actually went and I saw, wow, I have not gotten much sun on my legs yet this <laughs> summer. Uh, so what I did was I actually went in to color, went over here, and I went to select with mask. I selected my legs. And I just, with the slider, just warmed them up just a little bit. And then it made it look better. Because I didn't want people to look at this image and be like, whoa, why is his leg so <laughs> untanned? And maybe that's not a big deal or anything. But I wanted people to focus just on the edit, just on the photo and how fun it was. And I didn't want anything else to be taken away from it. That's why I removed stuff that I didn't think was going to look good. Nonetheless... At the end of that, you've got your image. Uh, you can crop it if you want. Honestly, I wish I would have backed up a little bit further to take the picture. But make sure that you take the time to think through what are you taking a picture of, how do you want to interact with that object, and uh, just have fun with it. It's a really fun project. You don't have to have a green screen. You don't have to do anything crazy. All these photos are taken from my iPhone. It wasn't a big, huge pro process, and you know you could do this in a half an hour or an hour, even if you're super new to this type of stuff. It's a lot of fun. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely like this video and comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.